Okay, so for this project, um, I've stolen a mannequin from my mother's garden, which is dead, so she'll never know. Um, God knows why she had all these in, out in the garden, had all sorts of different ones. But because um, I've got these thousand nuts and I don't want to put them on the outside, um, because that means the world will be on the outside, I want to put them on the inside. But unfortunately, the inside's not very good. It's a bit rough and I don't think I, if I got them in there I'd get it and get them out. So, what to do? So what I've done, very simple, as if by magic, papier-mâché. So I'll just put a layer of papier-mâché over it. So now I've got a mould, so I can put my nuts on the inside, so the welds are on the inside, so the outside looks smooth, so this can go. That's done its job. So, let's get set up and crack on. Now the only thing I discovered very early on was that if you linger too long with your tacks, Papier mache starts burning, which is why I'm using the airline to cool things off. I don't want it all to burst into flames too early. Now, there's no real. Uh, well, I say there's no real. I've never done this before, so I'm just starting at the bottom and working up. Um, I'm trying to keep the nuts as close together as I can so you don't get any gaps or too big a gaps but it becomes apparent fairly soon that that's not possible. You will have to leave some gaps and put nuts in different places that they really don't normally go. Uh, and also, see I put a big lump of metal there to hold it down because with the tacks it's sort of pulling up a bit. So I'm trying to, to keep it down in place into the mould. I don't know how this time lapse, how much time it's actually taking, but after the first, I don't know, uh, sort of two hours, I suppose this is going to be. I did actually fill up some of the smaller holes with some smaller nuts. These I'm using are M8s, but I did, when I couldn't get the gaps small enough, I did fill in a couple of holes with some M8s, uh, M6s and M5s. Um, just when the holes were a little bit big. Um, I don't know if it's necessary, but hey ho, I did it. Now this is where it becomes really tricky, going actually into the bosoms. Um, I think in a way, I would have been better off to start in there and work out um, because it becomes quite difficult to to get things to, to line up. I'm really sort of struggling here to get things right. But if ever I do one again, I will probably do that, start in there and work outwards. Alright, so that's end of day one because I've run out of time and that's about two hours worth, two and a bit. Um, I'm getting there. It's slow but sure. It's quite, um, what's the word? Therapeutic in a way, but also quite mind bending. It's uh, or mind numbing. Alright, so this is day two. You can see I've got a bit further. I suppose I've done about another hour before I started the video. I thought I was going to have plenty of nuts, but it becomes apparent a thousand isn't enough. Um, so I had to go and order some more. And unfortunately, they're going to take about a week to arrive. 
well no probably less than a week but it's weekend now so I've ordered them Friday afternoon but of course they're closed Friday afternoon so they won't get the order till Monday then it'll be a couple of days to come out so I probably won't get them till Wednesday or Thursday maybe if I'm lucky so that's the end of day two we'll crack on when we get some more nuts okay so this is day three well it's actually a long while after day three but uh, it's the third day I'm working on it um, the nuts actually turned up pretty quickly but I just haven't had time to, to finish it all I need to do is that corner there around the neck and then all the way down this right hand side or left hand side and that's all that I need to finish it so hopefully another hour and I'll get this done and dusted so let's get set up and crack on so I've propped it up a little bit so that I can lay the nuts down fairly flat I hope it's going to look alright because I'm not being as um, careful and as precise as I was when I first started I, it became apparent um, that that just wasn't going to gonna happen you really do need to put gaps in and move things about um, especially when you've got lots of tight turns and uh, twists but anyway I hope it'll look alright I'm not leaving too big a gaps I'm just not being quite as fastidious as I was before I've gone back to I'm actually using the trigger on my TIG I've always had the pedal attached but for this job it's much easier on the trigger you get the full belt of uh, power straight away uh, much more controllable for this sort of job and I've obviously turned post flow off Got no post flow now that papier-mâché mould sagging quite a bit there I obviously didn't put enough paper on that bit and it's a bit saggy but anyway that didn't take me long so let's go for the big reveal let's see how burnt it is there we go I'm actually quite pleased with it it's so it won't stand up it, I think I might have to put another nut on the back somewhere for it to stand up and that's one thing I'm not quite sure whether to have it on a plinth or wall hanging so perhaps you'd like to let me know what you think would be better it doesn't look as good on camera as it does in real life I think it's something to do with the way the lights reflecting off it but you get the idea for the first attempt I'm pretty pleased I would certainly have another go and I would do things slightly differently but all in all I'm pretty chuffed with that and it hasn't taken me that long really to be fair and it's about 1200 nuts I think I've used on it let's have it outside it still doesn't look as good outside as it does in, in real life but it's a bit better I think outside so yeah happy with that as a first attempt I have to think of something else to try next with nuts or maybe use washers next time who knows we'll have a look a little think about it but do let me know what you think about wall hanging or uh, plinth and I'll try and get it sorted thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next one